Welcome to Garden State Off-Road and to Phase 1 of our 1991 Toyota Pickup Build. In my search for a Toyota truck for a trail rig build, I came across this 1991 Toyota pickup. When I saw it, it immediately reminded me of my white 83 and white 93 regular cab pickups, and I had to run out the door and check it out. When I first pulled up to look at it, I was already thinking about what I was going to do to it as soon as I saw it in the driveway. After a quick look at the body and with my fingers crossed, I looked at the frame and oh my god, the frame is solid and looks amazing. I slid under the truck and no drivetrain leaks. Starting to shake as I am opening the door and seeing the interior, my jaw hits the ground. Not even a crack in the dash. And the owner starts to tell me the bucket seats were out of a Tacoma or 4Runner and look new. So the owner is a fireman and the truck has been garage kept. I pulled the hood latch and I am thinking can my luck continue in the engine compartment. I already saw that there were no leaks under the truck and I lift the hood and the 22 RE looks super clean. So then we fire it up and it sounds great. He did some mods to it. It has a header, a three inch body lift, and it has a cap on it, and that's gonna be the first thing to go. It has bushwhacker fender flares. He has a Lund visor that he never put on it. The tires are BF Gerich All Terrains 32 11 and a half 15 on 15 by eight Pro Comp Daytona style wheels. He changed the 91 four-wheel drive grille to a two-wheel drive Toyota emblem grille. I am not into the Toyota emblem grills, and I am not into black. With 121,000 original miles on the truck and the condition it is in, I start my trail rig build with a 1991 Toyota regular cab for $6,300. The first thing I do is take off the cap and I sell it. Then I order a 92 chrome grill, clear corner lights, chrome bumper, balance, and change the headlights. I also sold the 91 black grill, bumper, and balance. I headed over to my local Napa Auto Parts and gave them the truck's paint code and painted the Lund visor, bushwhackers, and balance. Now it is time for the trail rig suspension lift. I went with Rough Country's 4 to 5 inch lift and also upgraded to Rough Country's dual steering stabilizers. Since the truck already had a 3 inch body lift, this will give our truck 8 inches of total lift. I want to go for 35 inch tires and I looked out again. I found 35s on Facebook Marketplace, 5 tires for 400 bucks, and the Cooper Discoverer STT Pros didn't even have much wear at all. For the lift install, I went to the 4x4 place in Lake Apaca, New Jersey. They have worked on three of my Toyotas and my 90YJ in the past. They do an awesome job and have the latest state-of-the-art equipment. So there she is, all jacked up and ready to hit the swamp, but before that, I can't get over how well this truck drives on the highway, straight as an arrow. The 4x4 place tire mounting, balancing, and alignment equipment is top notch. With the ride home on the highway and then a test drive in the swamp, and by the way, since we will be spending most of the time in the swamp, we named her Swamp Donkey. And after the first test drive in the swamp, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell because Swamp Donkey is going to be getting more goodies like axle breather, gears, and lockers in next phases of this build. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think. What would you like to see next? 529s and lockers are in the near future. 
Maybe you'll winch in some other deals we found on Marketplace to come.